Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be going over sharpening one of my most favorite blades given to me by a close friend. It is a zero tolerance folder designed by Ken Onion. I'm going to be using my Wii 66, which is the newest sharpener that I have picked up from Wicked Edge. Now something that I wanted to share with you because of the comments that I've gotten over the years while I've been sharing my reviews on the various Wicked Edge systems is the fact that before I had the Wicked Edge systems, I would sharpen my knives manually or use other gadgets that would really take off a lot of steel. And it would worry me when it came to these more higher end knives, especially the ones that were sentimental to me and valuable to me, not just in the price tag. And what would happen is I would have these knives and they would be more so on display if I carried them with me, it would be with that, uh, let's say, self-defense application mentality, which meant that any other task that I would need a knife for, I would most likely have to carry a second knife or my beat-up knife so that I wouldn't ruin my valuable or my precious knife. Once I started using the Wicked Edge systems, saw the way they worked, saw how precise that they are, it enabled me now to start using and enjoying in a different way my valuable blades. This zero tolerance folder is a perfect example of that. I had it for five years before I would touch it to anything. I was worried about losing that razor sharp edge, never being able to get it back, possibly have to send it back to the manufacturer to get sharpened. And it was just something that I didn't want to go through. I would use other knives for daily tasks. And to be honest with you, never got to really fully enjoy these type of knives. It almost reminds me of uh, my grandmother's furniture. Couldn't sit under furniture because it was nice and new. Always had the plastic on there. And back then I would think, well, why even have a new couch, right? Well, here I was doing the same exact thing with my blades up until I found Wicked Edge. So let's go ahead and get into the sharpening process. Keep in mind that I have other more detailed videos on the sharpening process with the Wii 66 as well as other Wicked Edge models. I will list them in the description. Okay, so I have my blade locked in, sturdy. I have my thousand grit stones to begin with here. Just doing a few passes with each of these stones. And one thing that you always want to keep in mind is safety first. I want to make sure that my thumbs and fingers are out of the way. I'll start up high and just work my way down. This is a relatively short blade, so I'm able to get the whole blade on just one stroke. Okay, let me go ahead and give that a feel. Nice and safe, okay. Okay, let's switch out to the next higher grit stone and let's get started. enough for that so let's switch over now to the 2200 and go ahead and give it a few passes always being mindful that you have a very sharp blade here okay and I have the 3000 grit stones that I'm going to finish off with now Okay, that should be it. Okay, let's go ahead, get the knife off. Always thinking about safety. And that's the beauty about this dual cam lock. All I'm doing is grabbing onto the handle. Very simple process to tighten down. Just press down, move it over. And then this do the opposite to unlock the blade. Very smooth, no extra movement. And definitely adds another layer of safety to the sharpening process. So bottom line, if you are in the market, for a sharpener that will keep your valuable blades valuable while giving you a razor edge on your blades every time definitely take a look at wicked edge and specifically this Wii 66 model <laughs> 